Well, what would you do with this table? I measured this. This is free from the rummy cell leftovers. I measured this and I could put them legs. See the brown part where it comes down? It will fit on there widthwise. So I can make a table out of that table leaf, okay, with these legs on it. It's about two foot wide and that's only like 17 inches wide so it would be pretty stable. But some nice chrome exhaust pipes. I really don't need this table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip everything off it and we'll see what it looks like if I put the legs on that over there make a small table for in the shop. I used to have a kitchen table in there and it took up too much room. So we'll get busy and we'll strip this thing down. We'll see what it looks like. That it's pretty beat up, believe me. You look the other side, it, it's a pretty beat up piece of furniture. Okay, this is my idea. It's about 42 inches across, about what did I say, it's about 17. And those braces right there, where it's wider, they're just metal pegs that went up inside the aluminum up under here. There's a couple pegs stuck in there. And then they were screwed down, of course. And have other braces on there. But I don't need any of that. These are strong enough. These are really strong. These bolts go all the way through. They come out the other side through threaded holes. So just think about it. If you recycled this, aluminum scrap, or use it, chrome pipe, and four piece of ready bolt, or one of a rod, 5 16 diameter rod, you'd have four pieces there. So, scrapping it out just for the stuff, and that plate's like 3 16 of an inch. I mean, it's been formed, you can see the shape of it. Still, a scrap metal for a project. Boy, something don't sound good out across the neighborhood. Okay, we're going to take this inside. It's only 50 degrees outside, and I got a wood stove going, so it's a no brainer. We're going indoors. Okay, we got parts cleaned up. We scrubbed these. Here's what I was telling you about them weather wood legs where it had the steel pegs. These are even adjustable, screwing it out for a level floor. Took a little steel wool to the pipe. This had some paint. The other part of the table is really bad. It's got paint, it's got some deep scratches. Uh, the edge of the wood, maybe I can put something on there someday. You know, something so it has an edge. It's just a shop table. It's not for eating off of. Uh, we'll put some furniture wax on there, though. You know it's going to get beat up, but it make a nice table for small projects. So, here we go. Let's flip it over. We'll start measuring out with a pencil and all that other good stuff and put the legs on it. And we got the screws, so we got don't have to worry about wood screws. We're not going to pile the hole, we're just going to drill them in. Okay, take a deep breath. We had to stop and take a drink. It's kind of dry in here. Temperature shot up to over 80 degrees. I got carried away with the wood stove. There's that whistle. Let's pause. Eh, we'll let you hear it wind down here. <clears throat> Lunch is over. Back to work. About 1 p.m. So we measured that. Just off the side of leg, we did the other side. We're off like a sixteenth of an inch, so none of this stuff is perfect. Those plates aren't squared. So to find the center of the pipe wasn't easy, so we kind of measured it, and then we put put a screw in there, a couple screws, then we went ahead and measured like this. It looked good, so we put all the screws in. There's 11 half-inch long wood screws. Not quite a dozen. I think that'll hold... I said them other braces could have been decorative, but it also had them other ones. If you remember them looped ones, man, that's a lot of strength. I don't think this table is going to give. This does have a bow to it, but it bows up, which would be down now. So it bows up, so you put weight on it straight down. If it starts sagging, uh, all I can think to do is put a cross brace in there. But these legs are... Like I said, the nuts didn't turn, but the rod did at the bottom where it's threaded. 
so I can adjust the legs. You know, so I go like this, and I just eyeballed them. I put the tape measure on them. And they're good enough. So there we go. Let's flip it over and see what it looks like. And there we have it. Like I said, it'd be nice to put a board on the front one in it. Would it not? I have ruined the English language. I don't know why. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if you had... Well, I don't need a drafting table, but if you could tilt a table like this, you have a ledge so your pencils don't roll off, so you can draw and do drafting. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it does bow in the middle. I don't know if you can tell, but let's get up close with the straight stick, yard stick, and see what it looks like. Okay, let's get picky. Here we go. We're running down here. Woo, woo, woo. Here we go. There's some light. Oh, 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 oh. Is that about an eighth of an inch off? Boy, it's almost a quarter of an inch. I think we can live with that. Can you live with it? You're not going to watch me do it a video and say, Hey, you know your table's warped. I don't know if you can tell. See, optical losing all cameras can do and I'm not gonna stand on it and test load it but I say if it warps maybe it'll warp down put some weight on overnight but uh, you know you could put angle iron on here and by the time you bolt it you know I've got some one inch square tubing I'm not gonna get carried away I may get tired of this and throw it outside it just depends on how much I like it and how much it's in the way it's probably going to go maybe in front of there if I'm not using it. Because I want to be able to get to my drill and everything else. Uh, I could kind of put it up against the welder. I'm not using it. But it's just my get a small project and do not want to have my desk cluttered up. Because I'm in my chair right now. I'm down as low as I can go. I'm leaning back in it. And just for funds and giggles let's measure our desk and we'll measure this we'll be right back to tell you the height of this okay my desk is 32 and this is about 29 and a quarter i can live with that said i was rolled up to it i don't know if i still record when i swung around to the desk and measured it or whether or not camera flying all over i've done it before and just deleted it and redid the clip I'm doing something and I go to shut it off. You see me walk around the yard with a camera in my hand. I had to save those bloopers. Okay, thanks for watching. Look for the picture at the end. We're going to wax this thing up. But you see how dull it is in the light with the sunlight coming through the window. The south window's there. Then we'll wax her up and see what you think. With some lemon scented furniture polish on it. Mmm, that's yummy stuff. Don't eat that stuff, kids. Well, we coated it three times. Look how nasty it looks. We got one other thing we're going to try. Okay, we even tried our car wax. That's what we tried. Okay. That can is shot. It came from the house. There's no area. You have to turn it upside down. You can dribble it out. I've had it for like a year out here in the shop. I know you can put air back in a can. There's videos, but I turn it upside down. Well, it's nice and slick and clean. It doesn't have to be a glossy surface, but what a shame it won't shine. Anyway, we're out of here. Thanks for watching.